Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at my top 5 Raspberry Pi 4 accessories that I personally use on a daily basis. As a lot of you might already know, there's thousands of accessories that you can use with your Raspberry Pi, but these are my top 5 favorite and pretty much essential for my use case scenario accessories for my Pi 4. Starting out with number one and one of the most important accessories that you can get for your Raspberry Pi, the SD card. I've been using the SanDisk Extreme cards for the last few months, and before that I was actually using the silicon power cards that you can get on Amazon for pretty cheap. Don't get me wrong, those silicon power cards are great, but I've had a really good experience with these SanDisk Extremes. Now these are rated at 160 megabytes per second read and 60 megabytes per second write, and this does seem a little slower than some other cards, but in everyday use, I have noticed a big jump in performance going to the SanDisk Extreme over the silicon power cards. And I also notice a big increase in speed when I'm writing an image to this specific SD card using a USB 3.0 to micro SD card reader. It might seem a little odd to include a keyboard in my favorite accessories for the Raspberry Pi 4, but this is how I mainly interface with the Raspberry Pi. I want to be comfortable, I want it to work, and most of all, I don't want to be tethered to the Pi itself. So I personally use these cheaper Logitech M270 keyboard and mouse combos. These go on sale every few weeks on Amazon and Walmart for around $18 to $19, and it's well worth it. I've actually been using these cheaper Logitech keyboards for around the last four years on my PC, my Raspberry Pi, and other single board computers, and I absolutely love them. Comes with a keyboard, mouse, you also have the dongle, and all the batteries you need are already included. At 20 bucks for a decent keyboard and mouse combo, I think this is well worth it, and this is what I use for my Raspberry Pi setups. Next on the list is one of my favorite controllers of all time. I did a review on this in 2019. This is the Fly Digi Apex. It does come in a bit pricey, it's around the same price as a PS4 or an Xbox One controller, but you can use this as a Bluetooth controller, you can use it as a wired controller, and it also comes with a 2.4 GHz dongle, and that's what I use for the Raspberry Pi 4. It has a built-in rechargeable battery that lasts for a very long time, and I use this with my PC, my Android devices, and all of my single board computers. Whether I'm running Windows, or a Linux desktop distribution, or even RetroPie, Laka, or Vado Serra. This has been my go-to controller since I picked it up in 2019, mainly because of the ease of use. I just plug in the dongle, set it up in whatever distribution I'm using, and it just works. There are some extra buttons on the back that I usually never map, and we also have these trigger locks here, but overall, I think the Fly Digi Apex is actually a great controller choice for your single board computer. When it comes to Raspberry Pi 4 cases, I've done reviews on tons of them, but I gotta say my favorite one is the Argon one. This is a $35 Raspberry Pi 4 case. It does have a built-in fan, and we have easy access to the GPIO. If I can get this off, it's magnetically connected. You can pull this right off, and you can get directly to your GPIO pins. It also has a safe power and reset button built in. We have easy access to the micro SD card on the front. And one of my favorite things about this is it brings all of the ports to the back of the Pi. And this case is actually set up for dual purpose cooling. We have passive cooling with the aluminum case itself, and it also has a fan built in. So I've had no issue running my Raspberry Pi 4 overclocked to 2.1 gigahertz all day long with a case like this. And this is one of those cases that I can highly recommend for your Raspberry Pi 4. And finally, we have a newer accessory that I've added to my arsenal. This is the RAV Power Portable SSD. This is the one terabyte version, but they also make a 512 gigabyte version. USB Type-C, and I can run all of my operating systems right off of this using Berry Boot. I've got a couple operating systems pre-installed on it. It's super fast and it's much quicker than any micro SD card that I've ever tested. Very portable design here, it's got an M.2 1TB SSD inside of it, and if you're looking to run multiple operating systems off of a single drive with a speed boost over an SD card, this is something I can definitely recommend. So yeah, those are my top five accessories that I use on a daily basis for my Raspberry Pi 4. Now, a lot of the stuff will work with the Raspberry Pi 2 or 3, but everybody's pretty much moving over to the Pi 4. If you're looking at the Argon one for a Pi 3, I believe they did make it. I'm not sure how easy it would be to find, though. And if you're interested in picking up any of these accessories for your Raspberry Pi, I will leave some links in the description. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find that Argon one case in stock on Amazon, but I'll still leave some links if I can find it. Really appreciate you watching. I'd also like to know, what are your favorite accessories? Let me know in the comments below. If you use something similar to this, what's your favorite case, the controller you use for RetroPie, I'd personally like to know. 
But that's it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.